Hey everyone, so hope that you all are recovering from Christmas. <laughs> no, for real, it's not that bad. Um, we are trying to, I think that we'll be cleaning up for a long time, but <laughs> got some cleanup stuff that we are wanting to do today. I actually have several errands that we need to do. I've got library books that are due back that I wanted to get back before Christmas, but I forgot. Imagine that. I'm going to go by the UPS store and return all my Amazon stuff that I don't need that I purchased for Christmas um, that I didn't give to the kids. I seriously have like a good bit of stuff, but that's just how it happened this year. <laughs> Those extra pair of skates that I got to return. <laughs> I'm like, so I told Miley the skate story of, you know, trying to ensure that they were going to get here. And she just like died laughing. She's like, you ordered three pairs of skates. I was like, yes, I did. I was able to cancel one, but... Anyway, so we have to take care of that. Um, so we're gonna eat some lunch, head out the door, and... Nathan said that I would regret this kinetic sand. <laughs> and I actually cleaned it up last night. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It cleans up pretty easy, but you know. <laughs> right here. Mommy! Hey, Mommy! All right, thank you. Yep, you all can take your turn. I'm gonna walk it. And I'm going to get out. Alright, turn it. I'm not. Alright, we are back home from doing those errands and all the Amazon returns. I actually ended up keeping two of the pencil sets. Um, my kids are spoiled rotten. Yes, they are. I know. <laughs> so, we also had grocery delivery that just happened like literally as soon as we walked in the door. So, now we have to take care of all of that too. I am loving the grocery delivery service. As long as everything's correct, I have not looked through it yet, so hopefully it is. We did not need a lot, so I just got enough stuff for now um, for some meals and stuff like that, and more milk and more fruit. And then I obviously checked my P.O. box, and oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness, so many Christmas cards. I just can't even, like... I'm just overwhelmed and just wanted to say a huge thank you. I have loved reading through them, reading y'all's notes, and it just has blessed me so much. Thank you. I just had a panic moment. I was putting up the groceries and realized I was like, I ordered strawberries. I don't see strawberries here. I'm like, if y'all been here, y'all know my issues with <laughs> pickup or delivery. I'm all word. Anyways. They were unavailable, it said. So I was able, and then I couldn't like log into the app. It kept saying, I'm going to try again later or something. I finally got in to the app and it said that my strawberries were unavailable. So I feel a little bit better, but I'm starting to wash up the fruit, get that stuff ready. And Drew did not lay down. He's like getting to that in between stage, I guess. Jackson thought he was waking up from his nap. I just laid him down and he got him up. <laughs> we had to talk about that. <laughs> like, you need to ask me first, please. <laughs> so, it's it's gonna be okay, Drew. Please quit yelling. And I left the room for a little bit. Anyways, there's a mess to be cleaned up. I'm just like, okay, okay, we got this. We got this. <laughs> So I meant to mention it whenever I started this vlog. Today is Nathan's first day back at work after having, I think it was 10 days off, um, which today has gone a lot smoother than what I had anticipated. Like usually his first days back after having a lot of time off are just harder days, but we're not doing school either. So that's probably a lot of it. Um, sorry, the Drew is needing me. <laughs> Anyways, normally just him going back to work, you know, it's just, He's been home for a little bit and it is so nice to have his help. Like he just, I mean, he's their dad. He should be doing these things, but he just does anything from baths to cooking, cleaning, any of, anything that needs to be done. So it's nice to have him home. I wish he could be home more often. But anyway, so I was hoping to get more cleaning done today, but I feel like I'm losing steam. <laughs> I don't know why. I haven't really done a whole lot. But um, a couple of our kids are also coming down with a cold. So there's that as well. Um, Kinley started a runny nose hey on Joe. Christmas Day. Hey Joe. Hey and anyways. And some of our other kids hey are kind of feeling under the weather. So I think I'll actually ask Nathan to stop and get some cold medicine. But I'm going to finish. Yeah, I know. Reagan feels like she's getting a cold too. I'm going to finish washing the fruit. Clean up this 
mess. So they made a chip mess and I told them that they needed to sweep it up and clean it up. It was Harper. She's four. I mean, she swept for a four-year-old, but you know, I got to get in there. Reagan swept it up. Oh, Reagan's. <laughs> Never mind. I'm so sorry. Reagan just walked by and said, Reagan swept it. A five-year-old. <laughs> that girl. I tell you what. Y'all just watch out. Y'all just watch out for her. <laughs> Do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in? All your hopes and efforts are all in. You take a nap. Cause. Cause. I'm, I'm hungry. Not okay. No way. You were hungry. Is that what you said? Yeah. He was hungry. Sweet girls playing Barbies. Mm -hmm. Having fun. Oh, that's very it's nice. But, but mom said I can't keep playing with that. Okay. All right, y'all have fun. And then we... So, it's a little bit later. We've kind of had just a leisure afternoon, which was nice. Kind of just feeling sluggish. Some kids, like I said, have the beginning stages of a cold, sniffles. Some seem to be getting a little bit worse with a sore throat. So, we're just resting. We're taking this week off from school, which... Um, so we'll take a total of two weeks off. We took some of last week off and the rest of this week. But anyways, I'm going to start getting dinner started. <laughs> Never a dull moment around here. Lots happening all the time. So I'm going to get dinner started. We're eat, I'm making chicken noodle casserole tonight. I actually had pre-cooked chicken from the night that in previous video shared meals of the week when we did, I don't remember what it was, something with chicken. I cooked extra ahead of time knowing... Nathan's first day back at work, I kind of anticipated just being a little bit more hectic, even though today turned out to just kind of, like I said, be a leash day and not so hectic. Um, but I would like to just think ahead and have some things done just in case if I know. I normally like there's a curveball. Anyway, so um, I see like random things as I'm talking and I take care of them because that's what you do when you're a mom. Okay, so this um, actually is a very easy meal since the chicken's already cooked and ready to go. So I'm gonna throw this together. I have shared this here before, but I thought that I'd share it again because it is just a quick and easy meal, especially if the chicken's already cooked. Quick and you could use like a rotisserie chicken and shred that up. My family does not like rotisserie chickens. That's why I don't do that, but. Um, but just something quick to throw together that is filling and easy and feeds a crowd. Those things, quick, easy, filling and feeds a crowd are important things around here. But I have to find my shredded cheese that I just bought at my grocery pickup or grocery delivery. I saw it. I know it's here. Kids help me unload the groceries. I don't see it in the fridge. I didn't see it in the freezer. So I kind of hunt down my shredded cheese. And um, then I'll show you how to make this. <laughs> how a big bag of shredded cheese disappears. I don't know. It's a five pound bag, y'all. Five pounds of shredded cheese. This is my life. <laughs> I always say, one day I'm going to be organized. I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm gonna double check the big freezer. I don't know if a kid put it in the big freezer. I don't know. All is right in the world. I found it. That's where it was. I just didn't. I didn't move things around enough. Like I tell my kids, did you move stuff around? That's why I double check. I found it. Okay. All right. So, gonna get on with this recipe. All that you need is a bag of egg noodles. Um, a bag of mixed vegetables. Uh, I buy the frozen mixed vegetables. I steam them because my kids don't like them super crunchy. You could probably put them in frozen and it would be just fine. A cup of sour cream. What else? Um, about two cups of shredded chicken. Cream of chicken. I do make my own, but obviously you can do the canned stuff. 
I just prefer to make my own. I think it tastes better. And there's something else that I put in here. Oh, the shredded cheese. <laughs> so I'm getting dinner ready. And Nathan comes walking in. <laughs> Showed me a dish that was my great grandma's was broken. I don't think he was expecting that reaction from me that I gave him. He's walking through and he's just showing me the dish to like throw it away. And I totally just like was like, oh, <gasps> that was my great grandma. So he's like, oh, it's like, well, I'm trying. Like now he's trying to glue it together. So hopefully it can be somewhat safe. I don't think it can be. It's broken in four, five pieces. Anyways, I purposely had that dish. I don't even know what to call it. It. I would keep a candle in it. Like it's about this big. Anyways, it was special to me just because it was my great grandma's. Saw it at my grandma's house, and then my grandma gave it to me. Anyways, I didn't have it out in the living room like displayed because I didn't want it to get broken. Anything that I really, really care about that means a lot to me and I would cry if it got broken, I don't necessarily have out in the living room because, well, we have a rowdy household anyway. So I'm kind of like recovering from that right now. But that stinks. Uh, it's okay. It's just stuff, right? Okay. So anyways, moving on to dinner. So I got my noodles here that are all cooked. And I know I said two cups of shredded chicken. That's what you can do. This is actually, I measured it out. It's just over four cups of shredded chicken. I'm just gonna add it because um, it'll just make it heartier, I guess. That's a lot of chicken. Anyways, but that's it for the ingredients. So I have my um, homemade cream of chicken soup. Add that. And then I'm not gonna measure because that's what I do best. <laughs> I'm gonna add about a cup of sour cream. Don't tell Nathan that sour cream's in this. <laughs> He's sitting over there gluing my dish. <laughs> he ignoring me. Yeah. <laughs> so that's gotta be about a cup. He doesn't like sour cream, but if he doesn't know that it's in here, he doesn't mind. <laughs> and then you, make, you, make me a peanut butter and jelly you want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, whatever. <laughs> okay, so here's the, I just kind of steamed these vegetables a little bit. I'm gonna add all of those veggies in there. And then the missing shredded cheese, about two cups. It's about two of my handfuls, roughly. So it's a little frozen, but it'll, it'll thaw out, but get that mixed up and put it in a, can you see? In a 13 by nine dish, if this will fit in a 13 by nine dish and bake it for about 30 minutes. I said two big handfuls. This is what my third, I don't know. It'll be good. It's good. It's cheesy. Everything does it all become for granted? Glad you have some. Make it messy. Do it again. Make it messy. All right, Megan, your turn. Okay. Are you gonna squeeze it for yourself? <laughs> Harper, you squeeze it. Okay. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. <laughs> so here's that dish that broke. This was my great grandma's, and I remember seeing it in my grandma's house. Nathan has it glued together, trying to. I don't know if it'll work. I'm trying to piece it back together, but obviously that's like a dish. So I don't know if you would call that like a candle holder. I don't know. I had um, I had a candle in there. Anyways, I just always liked it because it was so unique and obviously the memories from my grandma's house. But here's a chicken noodle casserole, all cooked. I actually put foil over it so that the noodles wouldn't be crunchy on the top. I had it cooked for about thirty minutes, um, just because I made it so thick. I probably should have done two dishes, but you know, the less dishes to wash, the better. And then we're having garlic toast as a side with it. Dinner's done. After dinner cleanup is done. Even got the floor mopped. <laughs> kids have been bathed. Nathan gave uh, the younger kids a shower. And I think a few of our middle kids still are yet to get the shower. <laughs> Ooh, Camden has eaten is now asleep. So perfect time. <laughs> I'm going to end this video here. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. And we'll see y'all in the next video.